have one of the worst battle implements ever devised for a modern military. Although it's a cool gun. Let's get into it. So today we have the M14. This one is technically an M14A, and yes, oh, but the, sem but the semi-auto version for the civilian market is an M1A. No, it's not. It just That's a Springfield Armory only uh, M14 clone. Um, they got you suckered into that marketing, and that's your fault, not mine. Um, anyways, go back to this. This is not the original stock, um, but that's pretty much all that's not original about this firearm. Um, I got this from my dad. Uh, he used this as a um, competition shooter, long range shooter. He was getting about two MOA with this gun when it was in its peak performance, hand loading, everything special. Um, and I'm probably getting at best like three MOA um, shooting just regular federal rounds. So I was actually using both uh, federal and Winchester 762 by 51, 149 grain. So like usually I'll shoot three rounds at the 25 and then three rounds at the 100 in that order. And here's the clips of it. All right, here we have the 25 yard. It's a pretty good grouping right there. Um, just a little bit smaller than the Mosin from the other video um, or the video soon to come. So that's too bad. Looks like it's shooting a little high. Could be me. And I always have to make this disclaimer when I'm shooting the accurate stuff. I don't have the best bench or anything to shoot from. I, I don't know how to shoot like a marksman. Um, I'm just doing this test for you guys, for someone who, like me, is average. Um, and if you're wanting to use these rifles in like a shit hits the fan situation, I don't know why. <laughs> Instead of taking like an AR if you're in the US or an AK if you're pretty much anywhere else. Um, but hey, this is what you'll get if you're average, so. All right, so it looks like I'm shooting a little high and right, but uh, that's not too bad grouping. That's about four MOA right there. So yeah, not too bad. Let's do the tip to butt. So I don't like to get into the history too much because I don't know how much about the history of this stuff. I just know that the M14 was made, uh, was adopted in what, 57 and then got rid of in 63. So not really the longest, um, standard issue service life for the M14. However, it continued to remain in the military service all the way up till probably even till today as a DMR until it started getting replaced by the M110 um, as a 308 battle rifle DMR type role. Um, anyways, tip the butt, we have an M6 bayonet right here. Pretty cool. We have a really long birdcage flash hider, which is just peak drip, honestly. We have the Awesome M1 Grand style iron sights with a, on mine, an added competition rear sight. Um, we keep going down, we have the gas block here, plastic upper handguard. We have an original canvas sling from the 60s. Um, and then we have our, obviously, we have the basic M1 Grand style of charging handle. 20 round box mags, it shoots uh, 762 NATO or 308, whatever you want. Has a strip of clip on the top right here, as well as a mounting solution on the side if you want to put a rail on. Then we also have a bolt hold open right here. Ta da! And then we have our iron sights. And then, yeah, not too much. Um, safety is down here. Push back for safe, push forward for fire. Um, Semi pistol grip, which is nice, and this weird extended thing that doesn't really. <laughs> fit all too well anywhere, but oh well. Useless designs are useless designs. All right, so for, to finish this out, I'm gonna show you a build drill with this. Mind you, I haven't warmed up with any speed or anything. So uh, we'll see, but I can usually get six shots off in less than two seconds um, with the M14. So we'll see how I do. And uh, we'll start with the uh, safety on, why not? Try that again. I have a good stance. All right. Two, three, ready, let's beep. Go. Cool. A lot better that time. Be ready. Stand by. 0 0.21, 0 0.19, 0 0.21, 0 0.19. Right. Oh, build drill. Didn't get much in the A zone though, but this is for fun. Um, the next thing we're going to do though is a 
mag change. And I don't have any mag pouches that are 308 size. So uh, I'm gonna have to grab it from my bag. But I have one round in the chamber. When it locks open, I'm gonna grab my spare mag and my dump pouch. Dump pouches are great, I'd get, get them. And uh, then we'll see how fast I can do that, so. And we'll do it from safety. Low ready, yada yada. Do that one more time, or maybe a couple times. Why not? Start from high ready. Why not? And safety on. Ready. Three, two, one. Beep. Let's do that one more time. That's fun. Charlie in the open. Uh, let's go into my final thoughts now. So final thoughts about this rifle. It is one of the worst battle rifles for 308. However, it is one of the coolest battle rifles there is in 308. Just because of the peak drip, all the lore and stuff surrounding it. Yeah, sure, it wasn't the best rifle for the time, but it's a cool rifle now. And who doesn't like to just shoot 308 out of an M14, it's just, it's just a vibe, you know, it brings you back to the 60s, Vietnam, you know, you have Fortunate Son playing in your head anytime you hold this gun, it's, it's a fun gun, I really enjoy this rifle, so if you like this content and you want to see some more, just let me know because I like doing this, it's a good hobby of mine, um, I just, I just want to see you guys comment, I don't really care about subscribe or like, and make sure to stay hydrated. And bye. Shoot ready? Yes, sir. Stand by. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Stand by. Beep. Hey, rounds. I'll just shoot the last one. There we go.